Welcome back to Top Teens TV, where we focus on teens making a difference in their community. Hi, I'm Kendall B, and we're back at Foothills Animal Shelter, and I'm in one of the meeting rooms. I'm about to meet Benson. Jennifer, can we bring in Benson? Come on. Hi, boy. Oh, hi, Benson. Yeah, get a shot of that mug. Oh, it's a beautiful shepherd. Now, we're going to meet Talon. Talon has been working with animals since he was five years old. And, uh, Talon is with the uh, Wild Kind program, a program his father started, and, and saving animals for years, including wonderful people like Benson. Yes, hi. Hey, guys. Hey. I have a duck with an injured wing. Yeah, sounds good. Go. My name is Talon Nightwalker. I'm a sophomore at Poudre High School, and I volunteer at Wild Kind. What we do is we take animals in that are sick, orphaned, or injured. We rehab them, give them whatever care they need, and we'll release them into the wild. That way we can just give them a second chance. We work with about 90 different species of wildlife that's native to Colorado. And we also do some of the exotics and barnyard animals. Just to stretch them out, make sure that he's able to move them properly, which is fine. When I was five, I started coming in for an hour or so at a time. I've been here for about 11 years now. Uh, diseases in there are parasites, which is good. What I do here is examine animals, feed them, clean them. I also release them once they're properly rehabbed. We also have a partner up program here, and what it does is it gives kids between the age of 10 to 15 the opportunity to volunteer with a parent, and they can also get the thrill and the amazing feeling of saving lives that we have. The majority of the animals um, people find out in the wild, and like I said, they can be sick or injured. Some of them get attacked by a cat, some of them get hit by a car. And so they call us, or they'll bring them in, and Animal Control brings them, a lot of our animals to us. This Savannah Monitor has some metabolic bone disease, so we're giving him calcium supplements, and he's also on some other medication to get his bones strong enough so that he can be properly adopted out. And we have a couple foxes with mange and we're treating them. Other than that we have some turtles that we were surrendered to us. We have a duck that was surrendered and we have a squirrel that got his tail caught up in a bird feeder chain and so there's some degloving and hair loss there and so we're treating him. Overall we have about seven to eight squirrels per cage. You know a lot of this they won't find out in the wild exactly but it supplements them and it gives them an idea of what they should eat what they will eat overall it's gonna be a pretty kind of standard day like I said I started here when I was five we just were thinking about how many different animals that I'm gonna see and that a lot of them can go extinct in my lifetime so we're just taking pictures with as many different species of birds reptiles mammals and amphibians as we can before they do go extinct so that Hopefully people will realize that they don't need to go extinct and that they should be here and that they are helping the environment. And we have been helped out by a lot of different facilities. We've used some zoos and some other pet stores, some other wildlife rehabilitation centers. Some of my favorites are probably the bobcat picture. We also have a black bear picture that was really cool. And he was able to come out of his cage and I was feeding craisins out of my hand. That was really cool. Yeah, the cobra was really cool. I was able to stand behind a cobra while I got the picture taken. So that was a little bit stressful, but overall I'm glad we got the picture. And, you know, as we go around doing this, I learn something new about every different animal species. So it's not only helping me out, but I'm hoping that I can help the animals out in the long run as well. So I, we have about 805 different pictures, and they're all with different species of animal or different subspecies of these animals. And we're hoping to get about 24,000. My career that I want to have is to be a wildlife rehabber. And currently I feel like I'm on the right track with that. What keeps me coming back and in love with this job is just the fact that I get to save lives. I get to help these animals. I get to give them a second chance that they do deserve at life. A lot of these animals, if there weren't centers like these, would you know, have nowhere to go. They would have no help. And it's an amazing feeling when you get to release an animal that you've kept for you know, however many weeks or months, it's, you know, a great feeling because, you know, you played a huge role in that animal's life that, and they wouldn't be in that position if they didn't have you.
Good work, Talon, with all the work you are doing with all the wild animals that are out there. Well, Devin, what do we do? Well, everything's looking good paperwork-wise. Okay. I could have you sign right down here for me. All right. Well, Benson home with you. you can do the same thing if you come to Foothills Animal Shelter. Not only can you bring home a wonderful pet, but you can also have services done, spaying, neutering, and those kind of things, vaccinations and things like that. If you want more information, visit our website, topteamstv.com. And don't tell my wife because Benson is coming with me. Oh, yes. Thanks. Yes. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. Thanks for watching and always strive to be a top team. <laughs>